In this PowerPoint video, I'm going to show you how to use the Animation Painter in PowerPoint. This tool is a fantastic time saver as you're working on animations. Let's get started. So here I have a presentation, and I'm going to switch here to my second slide. I've got an image and some text, and I would like to animate this airplane and have it kind of fly into the scene. So I'll just select the airplane. I'll go to the Animations tab, and I'll choose Fly In. If I want to, I can use the Animation pane here at the right to adjust this animation that I've just added. And if you don't see the Animation pane here at the right, you can go to the Animations tab here in the Advanced Animation group. You should see Animation pane. OK, so if I want to adjust the animation I've just applied to this airplane, I can go here to the animation pane and I can see that there's an animation, animation 1, and then I can click here on this drop down arrow and there are some effect options. In this case, one of the options is to change the direction from which the airplane flies in. Right now it's from the bottom, but I'm going to switch it to be from left. I'm going to give it a smooth start, maybe a smooth end. I'll click OK and you can see that effect. Now I could make other adjustments to this animation. I could again click here on the drop down arrow and I could change the timing or any of these other options. I also have options up here at the top. Because I'm on the animations tab and I've added an animation and I've selected that animation, I could go up here and change what triggers the animation. Right now it's just on a click. So if the presenter taps spacebar or the arrow keys or uses a presenter remote to click, that will trigger this animation. Well, I could change that and make it be with previous. Now, there is no previous animation, so it'll just happen at the beginning of this slide. I'm going to change the duration. Instead of 0.5, I think I'll make it 1.0. What about a delay? Maybe I want a little bit of a delay at the beginning of the animation, maybe 0.25 seconds. And I'm happy with that. And I can test it out by clicking Play All and that's the result. I think that looks good. Now what if I want to also animate the text, El Avion? And what if I want that animation for the text to be exactly the same as the animation for this airplane? Well, I could certainly click on the text and go up and choose Fly In, but then I'm going to have to adjust it to make sure it flies in from the left. I'm going to have to adjust these settings to make sure it starts with Previous and that the duration and the delay are the same. So it's going to take seven or eight different clicks and steps to make this text animate exactly the same way as this airplane. And that is true unless I use what's called the Animation Painter. To use the Animation Painter, you select the object or text, whatever it might be, that already has animation the way you want the animation to be. So the airplane, that's exactly how I want this to animate. I've selected the airplane, and I'll go here to the Animations tab in the Advanced Animation group. There we have Animation Painter. I'm going to click it. Now that I've clicked that button, because I had the airplane selected, the Animation Painter has copied not the airplane, but all of the animation effects associated with the airplane image. And notice my mouse pointer. It now has a paintbrush attached to it. And whatever I click on next should take on the same animation's properties as my original object. So I'm going to click on El Avion. It gives it the same type of animation with all of the same characteristics. Let's compare the two here at the right in the animation pane just to make sure. This is my airplane. You can see the options here at the top, and there's other options kind of hidden here in the effect options. But let's look now at El Avion. The text El Avion is also set to start with previous. It's got a one second duration, 0.25 second delay. If I click here, I can go into the effect options to see that it does have the smooth start and the smooth end, just like I set up for the image of the airplane. And the ultimate test, I guess, is to click Play All. So I'll click that button, and both objects, the image of the airplane and the text, animate exactly the same way. So this Animation Painter tool can be very helpful and save you a lot of time when you're adding animations and using animations in your PowerPoint slideshows. In some ways, it reminds me of the Format Painter that you'll find here on the Home tab, here in the Clipboard group. 
it shares some characteristics and some functionality with that format painter. If you'd like to learn more about the format painter, please watch my other videos on that topic, including some of my Excel videos on the format painter. But in the meantime, I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, you can do that by clicking the thanks button below the video and by supporting me through my Patreon account and by buying channel merch. And you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of Patreon, I want to give a quick shout out to my $5 Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for all you do to support the channel. I really appreciate you. And for those of you that watch my channel for the PowerPoint videos, if you appreciate this video and feel like you learned something new, please do like and subscribe and maybe consider sharing it with friends or coworkers or others that might benefit from this video and maybe leave a comment for me below the video. I haven't posted a lot of PowerPoint videos lately because it seems like my Excel videos are more popular, but I'd love to create and post more PowerPoint videos. And with your help in sharing this with others, it will make it more likely that I will make more PowerPoint videos in the future.